Tornado sirens have saved countless lives. But is technology making these outdoor warnings obsolete? Here's Storm Team forecaster Scott Steele. When the town of Fredonia in Ozaki County tested its tornado sirens earlier in the season, this is what one of the two in the area sounded like. That's the sound of silence triggering a debate about safety. It did spin, but it did not make any noise. Which is a problem for a tornado siren. It is. Um, you know, you, when people see that, they expect it to work. And, you know, if something happens and it doesn't, then that can create a liability. A false sense of security? Absolutely. Fire Chief Jason Caswell brought the facts before Fredonia's town board, but found reluctance to pony up the price of a $40,000 fix. That's what we're all about is public, public safety, and when you are expecting something to work, you know, it has to work. Um, if not, then take it down. I, I don't know what happened to it, but uh, the town decided that uh, they're not going to spend the money to fix it because everybody has a cell phone or a smartphone or a notebook or a whatever to notify them. We don't. We're, uh, we're Luddites. While most people can now carry the latest alerts around with them, some question abandoning even an antiquated backup system. Well, let's put it this way. Down in the tornado belt, uh, sirens have saved countless lives. And maybe this isn't Tornado Alley, but it could, it could happen here. And as our nation's infrastructure ages and technology advances, this is a debate likely to be repeated in town after town. That was Scott Steele reporting.